513 on your Tuesday morning, and it turned out to be a really nice day yesterday. Sun was shining, felt yes. kind of like spring. Yeah, we really welcomed spring in a good way. We did, and we'll do it all over again today. There may be a couple more clouds mixing mm. in, but today the first full day of spring. Yes. Doesn't feel like it this morning, though. Another no. cold start out there. I put the heat on again. I'm waiting to stop having to do that. Yeah, morning. I had to run the heat as well. But <laughs> I think we can give the heat a break of this afternoon, at least, as temperatures make their way into the mid to upper 50s. And that's about 10 degrees above normal for this time of year. Average high is around 48. Now, unlike yesterday, where it was sunshine from start to finish, we will see some scattered clouds mixing in from time to time, but temperatures are going to warm quick as that sun comes up. Sun up at 652 this morning by 9 a.m. Sunshine and clouds were in the 30s as we make our way towards the noontime hour. Good amount of sunshine out there and you see temperatures approaching that 50 degree mark. Looks like mid to upper 50s for high temperatures this afternoon. But once again this afternoon, starting to see some scattered clouds mix in. If you have plans this evening, though, you're going to be just fine. We'll start out with mostly clear to partly cloudy skies. Backdoor cold front is going to slide in from the northeast, so we'll see additional clouds moving in. But that will keep temperatures from cooling down as much as we've seen the last couple of mornings. I still think we see overnight lows tonight dropping down into the upper 20. So we'll rebound back into the 50s this afternoon with a blend of sunshine and clouds. Dry weather pattern, though, it's going to continue for another couple of days before things do start to turn a bit unsettled. So a breezy, mild first full day of spring. The above normal temperature trend, though, that will continue for a couple of more days. And then, yes, we're unsettled late this week, and that looks like it will also linger into the weekend. Looks like we're going to have two systems coming through, one system coming through on Thursday and then another system coming through as we head through the day on Saturday. But overall, not looking all that bad over the next couple of days. Tomorrow, we may actually make a run at 60 degrees. And then even though we're going to deal with some showers on Thursday, we're still in the mid to upper 50s. And then we'll start to cool things down heading towards the end of the week and into the weekend. Still looking at some breezy conditions over the next couple of days. Winds between around 10 and 15 miles per hour. But then the weather pattern gets unsettled heading into the end of the week and into the weekend. First system comes through Thursday afternoon into Thursday evening. That brings some showers. The cold front comes through. That will cool us down for the end of the week and into the beginning of the weekend. Then another system coming our way on Saturday. Saturday, a chilly day. Temperatures low to middle 40s. So I think we're talking about rain here in the valley. Question does become, do we get enough uh, cold air mixing in the higher elevations that they look at more of a wintry mix? So that's something we'll be watching as we head through the next couple of days, but it is looking unsettled for the end of the week and into the weekend. So enjoy the dry couple of days that we have because by the time we get towards Thursday and Saturday, a couple of systems coming on through. We may briefly dry things out on Sunday, but then may see another system coming our way for the beginning of next week. Let's check your forecast. David, Amanda, send it back over to you. John, thank you.